Are you looking to grow three inches in three weeks? Well, you came to the right place. What? We're not doing that? We're getting the riot shield polyatomic? All right. I'm not even talking to anyone over there. It's just a wall. But since we still got shipment 24-7 right now, I figured we might as well get the recently nerfed riot shield polyatomic. And maybe the combat knife too, but we'll see how long it takes us to get the riot shield done. And to get our riot shield polyatomic, we need to get 10 kills from behind with it 10 times. This is going to be a little more difficult because like I mentioned, this was just recently nerfed. So now it's a three hit kill, but hopefully we can run into some people that are already a little injured since this is shipment. And if we do end up getting that done in a reasonable amount of time, I'm going to work on the knife here as well. And that is 20 kills from behind. So basically the same challenge going to be a little easier since it's the one shot. And this is the class I'm going to be going in with. I have smoke grenade here with the double tactical in my perks. I also have double time on there so I can move a little faster as well. And I have dead silence and you can't just use the the knife and the riot shield without having the throwing knife on the class. But maybe I shouldn't have fast hands because I'm not really going to be swapping weapons too much. I'm definitely not going to be reloading. The using equipment may be helpful, but what else would be? I would have resupply on, but I don't think I'm going to be alive long enough to get any use out of this. So I think we're going to go with cold blooded instead of uh, fast hands. And quick fix is probably good. I don't see uh, anything else that we'd use. But we got a lot to do with this riot shield. So let's go ahead, hop in, and see if we can get these camos done. All right, looks like we're joining a game in progress here. Classic COD. Come on, let me get this kill from behind. All right, I guess I'll kill you from the front instead. I get through my first game stutters per usual. Even after replacing all my PC parts and adjusting like every setting possible, I still get uh, the stutters a little bit every time I start a game. That's a kill from behind though. I wish for like camo challenges like this, there would be like a pop-up for it. Like for long shots, I mean, if you're playing in core, you'll see it'll, it'll say long shot when you get it. Oh, no way. People turtle shelling with the shield. Probably need to censor that. It's a little too early in the video. Can't be swearing in the first two minutes or at least the first like 30 seconds. But people turtle shelling with the shield, it makes it super difficult to get kills from behind with it. On top of this being a, a three hit kill now, but thankfully we do have shipment. Makes it a little easier to do. Oh, maybe I should have put bomb squad on. I don't know if that would have saved me from that molly, but the nades might help. Do I have bomb squad on? I don't even know. That might've already been another kill from behind. At least we don't have to go for double kills anymore. Oh, I forgot about the throwing knife nerf. Man, there really can't be that many people that are just getting bodied by people holding riot shields as a primary getting throwing knife. Like, I don't think it's that crazy. It's not that OP. Not even OP at all, actually, in my opinion. And, you know, since I'm throwing my opinion out here, my hot takes, if you're getting shitted on by somebody using a riot shield that often, I'm not gonna lie, you're probably just bad at the game. There are so many counters to this thing that you shouldn't be complaining about it, to be real. Oh, I just gave him a little gooch crab. That's another big problem with kills from behind and melee weapons for me is that even when I'm just like clicking my mouse, not using like my melee button, there's like the, the shooting button. Like if you were to hit your trigger on your controller and then there's like hitting B or circle to go for your melees, at least for like tactical, if you have that layout. And most of the time, if you're just using the trigger, it's not gonna give you those animations where you're going for finishing moves. But when you're going for kills from behind, a lot of the time, it'll just mess up and you'll start doing a, a, a finishing move and then you'll just end up dying. But that's a kill from behind right there and a double kill. Not that we needed it. Oh, this is going to be actually way easier than I thought. But just because it's still easy because, you know, shipments out, this is such an unnecessary nerf. This did not need to happen. I'll try not to weigh in too heavy on it today because I already made the whole video on it, but it's going to be hard not to complain because I just love doing that. Complaining is just fun, you know? But instead of complaining, why don't I, I talk about something I'm, uh, I'm kind of happy about? You know, we're, we're, we're going to do a little segment I like to call Gamer Guy Talk Sports. So uh, today, it, it's Sunday, the day I'm recording this. The Lions just played today. And I've been doing a lot of Lions talk because they're actually relevant this year and it, it's not often that the lions are so i need to speak on it when when they are you know a lot of r's in there sound like a pirate but today they they won a, a close game it was an ugly win you know not the not the cleanest victory but we beat the team that we had to beat which is one of the hardest games on our schedule and the lions are are even now the lions are, are doing like what i do in cod games most of the times they go negative and when they go even it's pretty cool so like they're seven and seven right now Meaning that they've won seven games and lost seven games, which, you know, does not seem too great, but it actually puts them in a good spot to make the playoffs, which is exactly what I want. Also, broke your spine, bitch. Sit down. Crazy that I even got a finishing move off on shipment. I I'm, I'm really happy about it. Oh, I'm gonna break your spine again. You might as well just leave the game. Oh, they did. Ha, <laughs> bitch. 
Honestly, it is kind of annoying because I don't get like the kill for it. Honestly, I don't know if finishing moves even count for camos in this game, but there's something satisfying about being in the middle of a finishing move and just seeing them disappear. Cause it's like, you just piss them off enough to go and try a new lobby. Like I always see those clips of people like getting a finishing move done on them and them like speed running, leaving the game. Like, I think those are hilarious. Oh, also I have smoke grenades on here that I have not used at all. Let's see if this guy will quit. Oh. Oh, are we? We're already done. We got it done in one game. No fucking way. Is it really that easy? We haven't even finished this game yet. I guess we're using the knife now. I mean, I kind of feel like a dickhead having the ride show on my back, but I feel like if you're using the knife, there's an exception because you're already just using a melee weapon. Having a little protection from behind is not that bad. It's like a butt condom. Holy shit. A lot of people over here. Let me get a few stabs in. I don't know how many of those were from behind, but I think we maybe got one or two. This is crazy. We might be able to get the whole melee class done in two games. And the final kill cam of me just wildly swinging around. This is crazy right here. If I would have gotten all these guys. Well, I guess I did, but they all stopped playing because the game ended. And I only had 14 kills out of all that. 14 and 20 though. So let's see if we did get it done. No way. All right. Polyatomic's easy. This camo grind's so crazy. It's such like an up and down roller coaster of emotions where it's like, let me get a few kills. Oh, this is all right. Oh, kills from behind. Fuck. And then, oh, let me get... Well, I guess kills from behind here was easy, but I'm talking about like with a gun because I, I struggle with those. And it's like, get... 15 kills with a suppressor or something and then it's like do 25 long shots and you just want to die and now we just got polytomic in one game look at that broken arm and all i guess now it's time to get the knife done and i love the inspect animation on the knife by the way it's a lot of fun i want to see them add in a bunch of like different knife blueprints it'd be cool to see like a karambit just to give me my my csgo nostalgia but i know I, i've given you guys some good news i mean maybe not good news if you're like a, a fan of a team that the lions has beat but uh some sad news uh, this, that happened recently. I'm a little late on this because this video is going to be coming out on like Tuesday or something like that. But it's been confirmed that Ash is no longer going to be the main protagonist in Pokemon. Like after 20 years, he is retiring. Uh, he is, spoiler alert, click off of this or, or skip ahead a second if you don't want to know anything that's happened in the newer show. Uh, I'll give you one second right now. One. All right, I'm going into the spoiler. Uh, Ash has become champion. Uh, he, he won the championship. I personally haven't seen it yet. I'm waiting for the dub. I, I, I don't watch subbed because uh, I do not have the attention span to just sit there and stare and read. Not only can I not read, but I always have to be doing something else when I'm watching. Like I'll, I'll watch shows and stuff while I edit or like, or I'll play Pokemon and watch whatever. But his, his arc is complete. So Ash is leaving the show. Pikachu's leaving the show. Well, I don't know if they're fully leaving the show, but like they're just not gonna be the main protagonist anymore. And I'm curious to see where they go from here and who they pick as like the new Pokemon mascot. I feel like they're going to try to use like the starters from the new region. Don't know how well that's going to go over, but it'd be cool if they just picked another standalone Pokemon just to be the guy. Really hope it's not Charizard. Like Charizard's cool and all, but it's it's overplayed. It's like saying Mo Bamba's your favorite song in like 2018 or whatever. However long ago that came out. I have no perception of time after the pandemic started and I'm, I'm holding back a burp like it's it's coming up but it's not coming up but that also means like jesse and james and meowth aren't gonna be there it's gonna be weird seeing pokemon without all those people that i've seen like forever like i'm, I'm not big into anime or anything i don't even know if pokemon counts as an anime to a lot of uh weebs out there but for me it's kind of just like a cartoon it's something like i grew up with I can't really get into too much other anime. So it, 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 I was pretty sad when I saw that it was happening, but it's not like uh, it's going to be life changing or anything for me. It's just like, damn, an end of an era. And you don't really see any characters get that long of a run anyway. So it's kind of cool, but it's 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 like bittersweet. Come here. Oh, come on. Life is taking a little bit longer. I can't seem to get too many kills from behind with this. Maybe I'm going too fast. Maybe too furious. I am getting some good kills, though. Stop hitting the assassination. I don't even know if this counts. Respect to this guy, though. I think he waited. Can I see this kill cam? Shout out. Either that or he, he saw the riot shield and wanted to try to play around it. Either way, thanks for letting me get in the kill. I'll, I'll just say he was being a good Samaritan. Got him. That was a kill from behind right there. But I asked this in our Joker video, and I know it's pretty short, which is a reason why I'm asking this, is what do you guys want to see out of the Polyatomic videos? Like, I, I also asked this question in the video, but 
I haven't put it up yet, so I don't know any of the answers to it. What do you guys want to see when I do polyatomics? I don't know if I want to go through and do the entire class, because then we're just going to get through all of our weapons super fast, and then just have Orion, and I don't know what to do after that, besides, like, get the mastery calling cards and everything for him, which I will do. But, you know, I, I don't want to get through the grind too quick. So do you guys want to see me just do individual weapons? Do you want to see me do the entire class at once? Like, like what's up? Because I really just want to savor the camo grind, because once that's done, it's done. Unless we make another account like we did with, like, Cold War Zombies. But it's a little too early to be having two accounts with Orion, you know? And we only got eight kills from behind that game. We, we we're going to need a few more. It's going to take more than one game for this. No way I spawned with people with their back facing me. That's kind of wild. COD's actually looking out for me. Most of the time, they're trying to go against all my camo challenges. Today, they're helping out. Like this guy right here. Oh, he turned. But this guy, though. Sleep. This guy, eat a throwing knife. Ooh, I haven't been throwing too many throwing knives. There we go. I'm just going on a throwing knife streak. Okay, it's over. What's going on over here, fellas? Some quick kills from behind. Thank you. Appreciate it. I wish they still had play of the game in this. For whatever reason, play of the game gets like so glitched out. Like every year you'll just see play of the game where somebody gets like one kill and then like it, the, the play of the game will just end. It's basically like final kill cam for like the least cool looking kill. But... If they were to get it to work and work well, play the game is so fun. Like, you just see somebody just pop the hell off. Because a lot of time, final kill cam is also kind of lame. Like, it's cool in Search and Destroy and stuff like that. Which, Search and Destroy, I definitely need to play some more. I need to get the boys on here. When somebody has a nice play of the game, especially, like, when I'm doing melee weapons and stuff, it's always cool to see myself get it. And because, like, if I, I fit some nice throwing knives in there, I just it's, like, it's nice to show the whole lobby that I'm not to be fucked with when it comes to the throwing knife. But speaking of like search and destroy, uh, me and the boys played Warzone last night and it was a lot of fun. We we're just goof around, dick around in prox chat. I think I need to put up uh, like some of the clips from that because I wasn't like recording with face cam or anything. I just kind of threw up OBS and recorded just in case anything happened. And it ended up being like a really good time. We we're, were having uh, just a, a blast playing. Like we're not too crazy at the game. Like we're not going to be dropping like nukes or getting like wins back to back to back to back. I guess you have to do that to get a nuke or like dropping like 30 kill games. We, we could if we if we tried enough, but we just hop on there and have a good time. And I need to start putting those videos out. Like, I have some clips of it from, like, when we first started playing Warzone, like, day one. And then from last night, we got a bunch. So be on the lookout for a Warzone video. And if you guys think, like, these videos are good, or you think I'm funny, just wait till you see my friends. These guys are fucking hilarious. I have, like, collectively in Discord, like, when all my friends are in there, we have, like, a combined six IQ and come up with the dumbest shit where we just spew non nonsense like constantly and i love it so I, I i need to expose you guys to our our dumbassery and what we did like modern warfare 2019 is we our, our clan tag was butt just because it's fucking stupid and like we, we would just talk shit to people and like goof around try to like either piss them off for their being like you know toxic or whatever or just like you know troll people like we wouldn't ever go like too crazy far we would just fuck with people and we loved having the butt clan tag because if somebody's getting actually mad at you like seeing somebody named like poon slayer 69 in their in their clan tag is butt like you're taking the game too serious and then speaking of butts butt in this game can't use it as a clan tag it's profanity in this which is ridiculous because i just see people having slurs as theirs so i don't know what the hell's going on and after two games how close are we to polyatomic on our knife oh we're at 15 out of 20 just five more five more kills from behind and we got our melee weapons done now who wants a little knife in their back huh who wants to help me get polyatomic here do you want to help me okay no you don't and neither do you apparently come here got him maybe that was from behind maybe it was from the side i'm just trying to hit some people from the back who wants to get their back blown out by a knife Ooh no stop going for the assassination i'm not even like holding it down i'm doing a quick little click not hitting my melee button not holding anything down just clicking give me it stop making me assassinate people Ooh, that might have been one this guy for sure let's go Ooh, ooh, ooh. oh we got it let's go we're all done with polyatomic on these melees but just for fun i'm gonna finish this game out and see if i can get some nice clips Ooh, throwing knife at the end. Can't even see it. Go to sleep. Didn't get any crazy clips, though, unfortunately. And didn't even go positive. Right on brand. All right, let's take a peek at what the riot shield looks like with polyatomic on it. We can't really check it with the inspect in game, so we have to preview it here. Ooh, that's so clean. And this is just beautiful. The shimmer on it, the shine. It, it looks like it's it's pokey. It looks like if you, you were to touch that, you'd be like, oh, shit. That's sharp. Beautiful. Now let's hop in game and look at the, the knife. Hold on. Let's see. I have a fart. Let's see if you guys can hear it. Maybe. 
I'll try to turn up the audio for that. If not, then just imagine I farted real loud. Ready? Go ahead, close your eyes and imagine. There you go. You like that? All right, well, for those of you sick freaks that wanted to see the riot shield in game with Polyatomic, here you go. Can't even inspect it. This is the best you get. But the knife polyatomic is a different story we can inspect it if you can see it while i'm spinning around he'll give it a quick look right here that's awesome it actually has a way different pattern or at least different amount of like the little purple shards in it than uh, the rest of the weapons i've seen with it this is so cool man so nice to start unlocking the mastery camo and it's cool that you do it one gun at a time one weapon at a time because you can't really shoot this thing but it's so cool looking i love it well there you have it we got both our melee weapons done today honestly i thought it was gonna take a lot longer but uh like i said before let me know what you want to see out these polyatomic videos you want to just see me do one weapon at a time which i'm kind of leaning towards because it, it helps me stretch out the grind makes me like a like appreciate it more. I don't really want to fly through it too fast. Or do you want to see like each weapon class at a time? Uh, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Uh, it doesn't have to be any of those two options either. You can throw it in your own thing if you have a different idea. You know, I'm down to hear anything, but uh, I appreciate you guys. I'm very thankful for the opportunity to even be doing this. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video and thank you guys for all the support. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.